everyone internet and welcome to day 23 of Once Upon a December. It is my first day of what is pretty much going to be a two week period off where I can do all the things. I have so many things planned. Do you ever have those feelings when you are given a free amount of time to do whatever you want with and you just the possibilities are so endless that you're just so excited? Well that's exactly how I feel right now. I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update as to what's been kind of going on because I can kind of do that now. So I remember like a week or so ago I just wasn't feeling so great and honestly for the last week or so I've just been kind of like a bit down. There's a lot of aspects of why I felt down but I which is going to be difficult to go in but I mean one of the reasons was that somebody at work that I really cared about is resigning and I knew that they were going to leave but obviously stuff like this you can't really talk about until the official announcement has gone out and today was the official announcement so now I can actually mention it not that anyone at work um, would watch my videos that would I don't know I just didn't think anyone would so but it was just more like you got to be careful because you just don't know who's watching so that's what's been bugging me for the last couple weeks but I definitely have a lot more closure on it now so I'm not feeling as sad but I know it's still sad obviously when people you really care about leaving it's sad but on the other hand the reason people leave are for either better opportunities or to end an unhappy situation or something like that so I have on the other hand been quite happy for them. I'm just glad that they're moving on to something that's a lot better for them so yeah. But anyways I just wanted to let you guys know because I really don't like it when YouTubers talk about something that's going on and then they can't talk about it. I would just normally never mention it if I couldn't mention it but when it impacts you emotionally that's really hard to hide from the camera and because it hit me at a time when I was vlogging every day I just didn't really know what to do because I couldn't fake being happy all the time so yeah I just wanted to explain that but rest assured I understand the feeling anyways today I'm gonna spend it pretty much cleaning I have two major rooms I want to clean up it is my office slash study and I want to clean up our bedroom because quite frankly it is a mess it's kind of like my environment reflects my mental state if my rooms and my office especially is completely chaotic that's pretty much what's happening in my head and I want the next two weeks to move as efficiently as possible so I need to just clear everything get rid of a bunch of stuff and just have a clean headspace to work tomorrow especially because Tobias is at work today it's his last day but I think he's only a half day so I'll get to see him soon he and I share a lot of the space so I know that my clutter is really grinding on him so I want to try and get that done before because tomorrow is his official first day off I want to try and do that before he gets his days off so he can work as productively as possible so that's the plan it's going to be a pretty boring day in terms of vlogging in that sense but I will show you and update you as I go along but before we do that let's go check out the advent calendars day 23 is all the way up here Ooh, it's a big one. I have high hopes. This is the Ole Hendrickson cleansing wipes, which I've seen a lot of. Supposed to cleanse, brighten, and hydrate with vitamin C. I don't know if I have... I feel like I may have these and just never use them because I'm a hoarder like that. Because I saw them a lot on YouTube and I wanted them. But if I don't, then I'm definitely going to be trying this out. And 23 is here. I knew this had to come at some point because last year advent calendars I noticed this and I, I've i actually needed a new one because I've pretty much used mine down to the <laughs> like mine's worn out and I was thinking of buying it but I thought you know what the body shop advent calendar might have one in there so buy one if by the end of this it's not there but it is here so I don't have to buy one. Yeah! <laughs> Taking a picture again. halfway through cleaning I am doing okay. Um, Tobias is home now so he can um, supervise me with cleaning <laughs> and make sure I actually do it because I kind of procrastinated a lot this morning but I thought I would take a break and make an Oreo milkshake so when we were at your my goodness the other weekend yeah I think it was no it was this weekend 
It's last weekend, yeah. Last weekend. Yeah, it was last weekend. I ordered the Oreo Thick Shake. It was so good. I mean, I think it also had Hershey's in it, so I kind of forgot to put Hershey's in, but I don't have any, so... So I just put Oreos, ice cream, and milk. See how it is. I mean, it's good, because I don't see how you could go wrong with those ingredients. But it's not the same. I don't think I put enough ice cream in. I think I'm missing more ice cream, but it's good. So the lighting's not going to be so great. So this is a really old notebook called Dreams. It's actually from a company called Smiggle. But um, back in the day, back in the day, like six, seven years ago, their aesthetic was a little bit closer to Kiki K in that it was very subtle, more elegant. Smiggle now is like full on for kids stationery, like very vibrant colors. So not really my taste anymore, but back when it was more like this, I love their notebooks and I really love this particular notebook. And this particular notebook has so much old writing in it. So basically I used to list out like all the moisturizers that I had and so I would cross them out as I used them up um, and say when I got them. Um, I think the star was to say whether I'd reviewed it or not. Here I was trying to do some blog post planning so you can see like general makeup. I'd have like the date and the blog post and whether I'd taken pictures and uploaded and so I just had like nails, makeup, face of the day, lifestyle, products to review. It was pretty intense like I was I'm a really huge planner so I love doing this stuff and this is all dated back like two three years ago so it's pretty old I don't actually use this anymore this one was more like a full-on month so then I started getting a little bit more into detailed planning and this was in January as you can see and so like I'd every day I'd write down the blog post that I wanted to do and then there'd be different statuses about like planning it and photos editing the photos writing the blog post and uploading it and it just went on for months we've got February here I missed out a bunch and then um, you can see my schedule wasn't very totally strict, so I have a lot of blank spaces. But it kind of gave me ideas to how on track I was being with my blog posts. I'm going to go to sleep. So thank you so much for watching for today's vlog. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you internet.